Okay, a few ways to do this the right way. Actually, a few right ways, I should say. I should say. And you guys already know, man, I'm gonna set up this table, first number, second number, and my little answer column here. So question or the statement, separate 71 into two parts such that one part is 11 greater than the other. What are the numbers? So look, we're gonna have the first numbers X, my smaller number, oh, one is 11 greater than the other. That's gonna give me, my second is X plus 11, 11 greater than that. So I'm already gonna box my answer even though I don't have it yet. I know it's kind of sneaky. So what, what I'm trying to say is the sum is 71 when I separate it into two parts. So basically I'm saying X plus X plus 11 equals 71, collect like terms. We've got two X plus 11 equals 71, solve for X. I'm gonna subtract 11 from both sides. You guys already know the drills here. So 71 minus 11 is 60. Hey, we want one X, not two X. Divide both sides by two. We get X equals 30. In most algebra uh, classes or topics, hey, we're done, but we're not here because it wants, what are the numbers? So it's gonna be 30 and oh, X plus 11, that'd be 30 plus 11, 41. And there you go.